Okay, over the electric grapevine, four string version. In this song, there's pretty much only one note that you cannot play on four string, and that is a um, low B, open B hit at the end of the intro. Like that's where the low B would go, but you know, big deal. The rest of the song is there. Uh, what's more important than Playing on a six string is not really as important as playing it on a fretless. Um, playing on a fretless is kind of important for this one. Okay, now to break this down, we are at A12, uh, hammer on to 14, and then uh, kind of let that ring, and then do it again to, to D12, back to A14, and then uh, D12, 14, 14 slide to 16, 14 hammer on 16, 14 hammer on 16 on G. So far we got. Uh, two uh, G16s. Do a very quick G14 slide to 16, and then 17. Seventeen slide to nineteen. So far we got Okay. And then uh seventeen again. Sixteen. Slide to seventeen. Slide down to fourteen. Fourteen. So starting with the uh we have Back to D16, 14, slide down to 12, 12, 12 slide to 14, 12 again, and then A12, A12, uh, hammer on 14. and then low B if you got it, but I don't, so just run those, both of those again for the third note, notes, note, whatever, and then you're going to be uh, playing this bar chord at G, uh, D, G, 14, slide down to 12, okay, and then the drums come in, and uh, you're going to want to keep your finger at the uh, 12 bar chord, keep it there, and then play that chord and slide up into the main riff. Okay, so in this main riff, uh, we are going to be at A14 and 16. We're going to be doing a, a triplets with your right hand, um, but it's this like, you're kind of only hearing two notes, like the 14 and the 16, it's kind of like, like the middle note is 
sort of like a muted note, sort of like a 14. Um, it's a technique less used in uh, a lot of songs, such as Eyes of a Squirrel. <laughs> So, I'm going to call this a single, and I'm going to call this a double, uh, for the sake of this lesson. Alright, so, for this first main riff, you're going to be playing a double, and then three open A's. And then you're going to be using your, well, not, not strumming the chord, but like, uh, kind of using your fingers to kind of pull up to play both the strings. That's going to be D and G 14, and do it again at 15, and then at 17, and then at 19. And then very often in, in this song, uh, that final 19 is going to have a slide down. So, uh, you know, let's actually play the song of six string fretless um, over here at uh, uh, D 9 and 11, and then plays the, the chords, which we can do because we have a four string, um, but in doing that, that allows the that allows that note to ring out as the uh, three A's are going, kind of like. Um, however, four string version, I mean, you have to play on the same string, so um, yeah, there's you don't really get any time for that note to ring out like that. Um, however. There's another way I've seen him play this live more recently. An example would be, um, let me think, Bonnaroo 2011, where there are no open A's. It's just... Okay, so then uh, we're going to end on that 19 and slide down into our reverse riff. So it's that triplet again, but it's at D9 and 11, and uh, I think it's a good idea to play it here instead of here. Um, you'll see why when we get to the what I'm going to call the melodic riff, because it matches the melody of the words. So the verse riff is just a single, and then four open A notes. And then the vocals come in for the first verse. Um, I think the first verse ends with the words, looked like Golden Brothers, and then we're back into the main riff. And so during the second verse, he kind of uh, hangs on the D11 a bit during a couple times, I think when he says the words Dotson and uh, made a face into the light, and I, I can't play and sing at the same time, but uh, it, with, to play it, it'd be kind of like this. Emphasizing the D11 there. All right, so now for what I'm going to call the melodic riff because it kind of matches the melody of the words. Oops. So we have a double at a 9/11. Uh, open A's, you know, still be holding that 11 down, slide down to a 7, again, and then uh, uh, up to 14, no opens after the 14 though, um, I'm not really sure why that is, maybe it just he wants to emphasize the 14, uh, Slide back down to a 11, 3 open A's, to a 7 again, 
So I'll play it slowed down. I guess I'll show you doing that to start with, but. Okay, next we're back into the main riff, only um, this time, well, on the album version anyway, this time it's going to be singles instead of doubles. So. Uh, next we go into the. So that's the uh, same thing as the end of the intro. The uh, 14 bar chord slide down to 12. And by the way, um, whenever you play that, I forgot to mention this earlier, whenever you play, that is your time to uh, use a distortion pedal. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's distortion on the song, but, you know, live, I, I don't know what kind of pedal he's using. It sounds weird. It's like, Wah! but, uh, yeah, so we're going to go into a... Slide down. I love the drums in this song, man. The drums sound so good. Okay, and the final time you're gonna play D12 back into the main riff. And this time it's singles again. This is where uh, Les starts whistling, I believe. And then we go into uh, the verse riff again for the third and final. Pretty sure it's the final verse. Okay, so in the third verse, um, starting with the word tired, you're going to emphasize that D11 again. again until he says uh, they started laughing and that's when you know the song picks up a little bit um, and when he says they started laughing you're gonna switch over to the melodic riff again Okay, and after that, we go back into the main riff, and we're going to play the main riff four more times, four last times, um, but it's going to be a, a bit different this time. Okay, so the first two times are going to go like this. So it starts out with a double and then three singles, and the second time, again, double three singles, with no open A's, none of those. Okay, third time is going to go like this. So start out with a single, and then uh, play the chord but let it ring out. Single again. Uh, co next chord but don't let it ring out. Double. Let it ring out. Single. Last one. Slide down. Fourth time. Uh, singles every time and let it ring every time. And then we're back into this. Okay, the outro. So, uh, you want to be fretting the f harmonic at the 5th fret, on the 7th seventh fr the seventh fret if you're playing um, on a 6th string, and be patting the strings. And then slap E2 to 3. And then uh, 
uh, I, I see him do that live quite a bit, that kind of slap fill here, just go up, going up the string. <laughs> Viva la France! Viva la France!